Now, there's my boy. Hey, what happened to my new friend? That kid who sort of looks like me from behind. Wait, where's the fat man? Well, I guess this is it. I'm gonna die here. I'll never get to grow old and become an across-the-country grandparent. What is this? It's a Skype. A Snipe? No, a Skype. Snipe? No, it's a Skype from your grandson. Steven? Yes, he's right there trying to say hi to you. What movie is this? It's not a movie, it's your grandson. My grandson is in the pictures? You did this yesterday! Don't holler at me, I don't understand anything, I'm very frightened. Wait a minute, Stewie, what happened to your head? Well, you're not Stewie. I gotta get you back to the park and find... Kid, your name is Stewie, all right? I'm your new dad. My name is Peter, and I work at the brewer... Nasha. I work at Nasha. Hey, uh, hey, Lois. Uh, you look fat. You should go for a run. Peter, I'm gonna go give my baby a kiss goodnight. Uh, Lois, I had an affair, and I think we should talk about it. Peter, jamming yourself into a grapefruit is not an affair. See? There's a human baby in there. Asleep in Stewie's overalls. Peter, please get out of my way. Ah! Ah! Great, we woke up the doorbell. I think there was a mix-up at the park. <gasps> my little Stewie! Oh, Jacob! Wh where's your little hat? You didn't have a hat. Oh, I am so sorry. I just got home myself. I left my husband in charge, which was obviously a terrible mistake. Thank you so much. I took a bath with the dad. Oh, my baby's back home. Mommy missed you. Congratulations, Lois. You passed the test. You really do love Stewie. Now, what do you say we all sit down and watch this Weird Al Yankovic documentary? It's called An Inconvenient Tooth. <laughs> What's wrong with you, Peter? Lois, I'm sorry. How the hell can you possibly mistake another baby for Stewie? Now, calm down, Lois. You're going to say something you don't mean. Oh, no, I'm not. You're an idiot. You don't mean that. I already got a Facebook friend request from the dad. Is that weird? Peter, I have put up with your nonsense for 20 years, but today you crossed a line. You left a helpless baby in a public park, and that's something only an idiot would do. I'm not an idiot. Hey, I think there was a mix-up at the park. <sighs> I hate to sound like every woman ever, but I'm depressed. Don't engage, don't engage. Why? Damn it! Lois called me an idiot. So? So, I don't tell her all the bad things about herself. Like how the mole on her back is changing shape and size really quickly. Being dumb isn't the worst thing, Peter. At least you're not two foreign guys talking too loud in the next booth. Much sorry, friend. Man, there are no women's here. We've got to make like 70s rock man Garrett and Leaf. You said it, Belgard. Looks like you and me will have to make hands on each other tonight. Oh, gross. <laughs> I was just playing joke at you. Ah, good one. You should be comedy writer. Too late, friend. I already have comedy development at CBS. Oh, nice. CBS knows real situations I want to see for 100 episodes. Thanks. My hysterical multi-camera show is called Wizard Robot and is less successful friend. Oh, man, you know what America wants. All right, fine. So I'm a dumb, hot guy. All right, there's worse things to be. Okay, we're only going to tackle one thing today. Peter, maybe you need to broaden your horizons. You know, read a book. Travel. Oh, yeah, I love traveling. You see new things, inconvenience thousands of people. You know what? You guys are right. It's time to travel, to learn, to experience new things. I've been letting opportunities pass me by ever since I was a kid. Hey, kid, get in my van and I'll give you some candy. Oh, no, my mom says I shouldn't. 